Thank you. You <clears throat> saw from our live shot at I-35 of uh, the driver of that Mustang who was stalled and then the HERO program got there. And then you saw an Austin police officer in his cruiser get right behind that Mustang and get him to Take the top the of the hill. So we wanted to call uh, Police Chief Art Acevedo to talk about his officers and if they've been responding to calls like busy that. busy morning. They were planning, I think we, we talked yesterday, they were planning on being at certain intersections too to help in anticipation of this. Chief, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Great. Good. Hey, what's the latest? Well, the latest is that we've got some horrible driving conditions, and uh, I'm just thankful that uh, the city has shut down its uh, operations, non-essential operations, the schools, because we need to keep people at home as much as possible. Uh, it's treacherous conditions, and I think that unless you absolutely have to be out there, you should just stay home, uh, enjoy the Friday, and uh, things should be better by uh, noon tomorrow. Hey, Chief, the city shuts down operations. That usually means you and your crews work overtime. <laughs> you have to turn it up a notch. Are, are you guys at certain intersections and have you brought in staff to help deal with this kind of thing? We have folks uh, throughout the entire city uh, deployed as, as do our partners and uh, you know uh, uh, and their sister agencies. Uh, we have our detectives wearing their uniforms and out and about helping out. So mm -hmm. We are operating as a, I, I could say an emergency uh, uh, footing right now with as many persons out and about as possible to keep people moving and hopefully uh, keep them safe. And, and Chief, are you guys taking any precautions when it comes to the cruisers? Because that cop car was able to just get that guy right off the road. I don't know if you saw it here, but are you taking any precautions with that? We, we've had our units, a lot of our units go into uh, 250, which is the uh, city's uh, shop, uh, mechanical shop, and they're putting chains on a lot of the cars. Uh -huh. And some of our units, uh, especially our highway enforcement folks in the uh, four-wheel drive, have four-wheel drive capabilities. So uh, we're trying to, but obviously when uh, this is pretty, this is all over the city, so not all of our units are uh, equipped. And so our officers are having to take their time getting places because it is, uh, you know, with the snow on top and now the ice underneath and then the traffic starting to pound this, the soft snow, into the ice, it's just creating a thicker layer of ice, and, uh, and uh, with this cold weather, it probably is not going to melt off till later, later on, uh, late this afternoon. Right, Chief, and have your officers responded to a lot of wrecks so far? Well, uh, last night, within the first few hours, we had over 200 wrecks we've uh, gone to, and I don't have an update for you, but I can tell you that in listening to the radio, they are responding all over the city, and yeah. uh, and those are just the people that are calling in. We know that a lot of folks don't even bother calling in, just run off the road, and right. uh, they want to worry about getting their vehicle and getting back on their business. But again, if your viewers are listening and watching, they really, really need to stay home if at all possible for two reasons. One, the conditions are horrible, and two, we're just not used to driving these kind of conditions. Hey, Chief, give us a quick example of what goes into the decision-making process of when you guys just say, you know, enough is enough and shut down a road and, and put up the barricades. We saw that happen at MLK. I'm assuming Jester over, uh, the folks in the Jester neighborhood are having a tough time. Spicewood Springs. What goes into the decision to go ahead and close those roads? It, it's all about safety. If yeah. it looks like we can't get people through there safely, we, we go ahead and shut them down. There's no there's no uh, reason that, that this let, let, let things open so people can keep crashing at the same spot over and over again. And, uh, you know, the law of average being what it is, if we uh, allow those crashes to keep on going, somebody's going to get seriously hurt, and we're not willing to, to allow that to happen. Yeah. All right, Chief, we appreciate your time, and a big thank you to all of your officers out there on the roads for us. Thank you very much. Have a, have a good day. Okay, bye-bye, Ace.